for just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Porto, and they take on Milan. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. the starting 11 for Porto well it's the basic 4-4-2 formation but played well it can be really effective and key to its success are the wide midfield players they have to be fit they need to be able to run with the ball and they need to double up with their fullbacks it's a really tough role for them this is the Milan starting 11 Although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Effective challenge. Bruno Costa. Can they create something from here? And it might be. Nicely saved. Match day one in the Champions League. Always exciting. And as soon as the teams were drawn into this particular group, we all thought, my goodness, that's a hard one to predict the outcome of. Yeah, this is a tough group, that's for sure. It's anybody's guess who will go through. So it's absolutely vital that the teams get off to a good start here. This should be a great game, Derek. Romagnoli. Fode Balo Touré. Committed challenge. Senesi. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Uribe. Happy to take on the shot. Full credit. Wonderful stop. deliver it with accuracy and what a magical save it was played over not fantastic defending let's see if it helps the opposition Shot blocked, but still alive. And the flag is up. 
Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Davide Calabria. It is to be a throw in. Olivier Giroud. And he read it well. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. It might still be problematic. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. Right, a good moment for Alex Scott to fit us in on a goal that's been scored at the Wanda Metropolitano. It's a goal for Atletico Madrid. They've scored the opener here with 19 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Giroud. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. restarted 1-0 here crisp tackling but it did look dangerous for a moment but the keeper has it now Well, had that gone in, they would be in not troubling the keeper. Unable to keep the ball. Doesn't want to give it away here. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Tony Martinez. Superb block. And foul it is then. He read it superbly. And do they mean business on this occasion? Takes the shot. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. A danger here as he runs at them. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. Olivier Giroud. Rafael Leao. Since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Good technique displayed. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Right, let's get a scoring update from the Wanda Metropolitano. That means we join Alex Scott. And it's another goal for Atletico 
Real Madrid. It's now 2-1 with 42 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Attending to his defensive chores. Has a go. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. comes to an end. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Well, Derek, he's usually so clever around the edge of the box, but today he just hasn't shown that. As the touch map shows us, he hasn't had enough touches in those key areas. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Tomori. Calabria. Ficayo Tomori. Davide Calabria. Now what can they do from here? Options in the centre. The delivery towards the back post. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Kessier. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Well, without further ado, let's announce a piece of transfer business that's been carried out. Oscar has completed his move to Arsenal. Well, the figure that's being quoted is around the £35 million mark, which in my view looks to be just about right. Let's hope he fits in quickly and justifies that price tag. Now, just hearing that a goal has gone in in the Atletico Madrid game, that means we head over to Alex Scott. And it's another goal for Atletico Madrid. It's now 3-1 with 53 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. So on with the game here. Milan accelerating away from their opponents, it appears. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. But it should be a thrilling match in Serie A, the one we've got coming oh, Can up. he finish it here, Derek? And the shot was always rising. Goal kick. And into the last 30 minutes now. Porto have given us away. Oh, lovely ball. 
Well, he moved into an illegal position. Well, he had the vision to pick out the through ball, but he couldn't play it quite quickly enough. Bruno Costa. Costa. Tony Martinez. Well, closed down straight away. Possession one. Well, Milan are controlling the possession, as you can see. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Galeno. This attack looks highly promising, but nothing comes of it. Romagnoli. 20 minutes to go in this one. Ficayo Tomori. Well, these fans are demanding much more here. They have to start winning the ball back quicker. At the moment, they're too easy to play against. Calabria. Sandro Tonali. Brahim. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Well, they've lost the ball. Uribe. Senesi. Getting forward. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. for him to chase he's foiled them on his own could be a chance to break here well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere Giroud well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack right a good moment for Alex Scott to fit us in on a goal that's been scored at the Wanda Metropolitano Great save, but there's nothing he could do after that. It's now 4 1 with 83 minutes on the clock. Cheers, Alex. That's how to rob them of possession. Well, he certainly caused all of that, but was never going to trouble the keeper in the end. Goal kick it is. Time for a change then. Well, in the closing phase here, and Milan have enjoyed themselves out there. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. And that's great work to keep it in play. Delightful pass. And a strong tackle. Determined defending.
So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin the European campaign. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.